In this video, we will be going over how to enroll in a class. We will need to go to the UCI WebReg page and click on WebReg before clicking on the yellow button on the right that says Access WebReg. You'll be asked to log in using your UCI Net ID. Once you're logged in, you'll go to Enrollment Menu. It will also be helpful to already have the course codes written for the classes that you want to enroll in. We so say we want to enroll in Anthro 2A, specifically the one taught by Douglas with the course code 60000. So we will click Add and then type in the course code for that class. There are also options for grading options and variable units. We won't be using these for this class because you want to take Anthro 2A for a grade and the class is four units. You don't have the option to change how many units it is. Anthro 2A does not require an authorization code, but if a class does require one, then it'll be marked with an X restriction on the schedule of classes. And you would type in the code given to you by the professor. Now we will click send request. Remember that we also have to enroll in the discussion section too. You'll also see that there are some sections that are only open to new students, which are marked in blue, new only. Returning students must find one that says in green, open. If we want to enroll in discussion section 12, then we'll add the course code 60012. In order to double check that we successfully enrolled, click on view study list and Anthro 2A should be there. We'll go over one more example. Let's say we need to take a science GE, category two. We can filter for all the classes that will count for GE2 by going to the GE filter dropdown and make sure that we go back to all departments. Click display web results. Now let's look at earth sciences, which is a popular GE2 department that social science students take. We see that ESS 17 is open called catastrophes. We don't know too much else about what this class entails. In order to find a class description, we can go to the UCI catalog, click on the undergrad option and on the white square in the upper right corner, click on courses. We want to find Earth Science 17. And we see that in this class, we'll be learning about earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, landslides, floods, hurricanes, fires, and asteroids. We can also see in the parentheses that this class covers GE2 and GE5 or GE8. However, all social science majors already have GE Category 5 covered by the school requirement. If you want to enroll in this class, we also should click on co-courses, which means that there is a discussion section that we have to enroll into in addition to the lecture. If we click on the hyperlink, all of the discussion sections pop up and we need to choose one. Once we have the discussion section, we'll go back to WebReg to enroll. So just like last time, we want to click add and put in the course code. Since this is a GE class, we have the option of doing pass slash no pass. So if you want to do that, you will type a two in the grade option box. If you want to take it for a grade, you can leave it blank and it will automatically do letter grading. Then click send request. And don't forget to enroll in your discussion too. If you're worried about worried because you're not sure if a lecture has a discussion, WebReg will pop up a message saying you will need to enroll in a co-course. So that's how you will know if you have to enroll in a co-course. Lastly, to make sure you're enrolled in all of your classes successfully, you can click on show study list. And if you are enrolled in all of your classes, then you're good to go. In the case that you no longer want to take a class, you will use the same enrollment menu, but instead of clicking add, you'll use drop and then type in the course code before clicking send request. If the lecture has a discussion, you will also need to drop the discussion. To double check that you successfully dropped the course, click on show study list and the class should no longer be there. Lastly, make sure to pay your tuition on time or else all your classes will be dropped and we really don't want that to happen. In addition, remember that the deadline to add and drop classes is always the Friday of week two at 5 p.m. Good luck. Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to go over how to join the waitlist. And so for this example, we'll be trying to get into child learning and media. Uh, which you see is in red waitlisted. And over here, we can see that there are six people in the waitlist, which means that when we join, we'll be number seven in line. Uh, so we want to copy and paste the course code, just like last time when we were enrolling. Instead, we'll be going to waitlist menu uh, rather than enrollment menu. And we'll click add and paste the course code. Click send request, and we have been waitlisted. 
And once you're on the waitlist menu, you will get an email from the registrar's office notifying you that you got in. Um, however, it may go into your spam folder, so just double check spam and also your study list to see if you got in. It's also important to note that all students can only enroll in up to 18 units until the 18 unit restriction lifts. This 18 units also includes any units you are on the waitlist for. So you can't be successfully enrolled in three classes and then waitlist another three as that would be over 18 units. Once the 18 unit restriction lifts, you can enroll in up to 20 units. Please make sure you are successfully enrolled in at least 12 units in order to be considered a full-time student.